I actually wrangled this guy. I did not mean to wrangle this guy. And I guess I'll be eating these cheese fries myself. We're gonna have X issue because of Y. It's a red line. I didn't get a plate on him. Here we go, 89. Oh no, it's him again. It's emo. Is it emo? This guy's, this guy's annoying. Com complains about everything. Howdy y'all, it's uh, Cletus Hello, Cornwood, doing? LSPD. This is my partner, Assistant Chief Ruby York. Can I see your ID, Hello. please? Oh, of course. Howdy, Mr. Malum. All right, are you aware of why I pulled you over here today? I'm not entirely aware of why I pulled over I was. We had you going speeds over 89 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone, running multiple red lights, being a little bit negligent in your driving here. It's going to be a citation for you. Wait, no, no. How big citation that is? How much you made today? Zero dollars I made so far, that is. So did you just wake up? Mm, some, yes, yes. Do you mind popping this hood for me, by the way? Yeah, the hood doesn't pop, it does. Let's see. Well, here, let me plug my diagnostics tool into the side. Okay. Ooh. 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 This is my first one. Like that you are. Checking for something you are? Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little bit of a um, like road hazard check here. Hey Ruby, would you mind having would you mind having a word with him while I'm under here? Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking a look here at the engine quality. Not looking very good. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, uh, so you got you got a couple things going on here. Um, okay. There's the vehicle duty of maintenance mandate. Okay. It basically says you get fined for a vehicle being deemed unroadworthy, right? You get issued a fine for operating an unroadworthy vehicle. Well, I think okay. roadworthy it is. I mean, I felt nothing was wrong. It was turning fine. It broke, it, the brakes felt fine. They did. I was able to stop on a dime I was. That's what's so surprising to me because this is probably the worst condition vehicle I've ever seen in the entirety of my life. You did have first degree speeding for going 89 miles an hour in a 55 mile an hour zone. I'm well, I'm gonna really I'm does. gonna cut you some slack here, okay? So you, you I, okay. I had you running like five red lights before I actually caught up to you. I don't know how you were driving Wait, so fast. I'm... So there's that, and then there's also the drip act, which states that you have to be dressed for the job. Which unfortunately, sir, oh. you are you are not. So that's a thousand dollar charge there. Thousand uh, dollar charge. Yeah, for the drip act. One thousand one. Zero, 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 that is, yes? Yes. So then the first degree speeding is going to be a uh, 1250 fine. You had like five failures to stop. I'm going to cut you some slack on that. I'm going to make it just a negligent. Then you have a $1,000 drip act charge. Uh, there's also the operating an unroadworthy vehicle. Fucking stupid that is. Well, I mean, that's what happens whenever people just grind away their cars to, to the bone. The law is a law, but please cut me some slack here. That is. You, you okay. saw the vehicle performing what it did. It was obviously road legal. I mean, look, you've, you've obviously was... grinded away this vehicle to the bone. You're not repairing it. I mean, if this thing explodes, it's a major hazard. Every single part in this vehicle is below the cutoff. So you're looking at 10 times the $2,500 fine. That's an additional $25,000. Are you fucking with me, are you? Nope, that's what it says. That's a sick joke this is? Uh, nope. Well, can we do some talk, please, please? I'm begging, 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 I am not the 25, that, that is very, I don't know what to say about that I do. I mean, you, how, why are you driving all day on this thing without ever getting it repaired? I've gotten this thing repaired like five times in my life I have. Okay, you know how I pay, little that I is? Put $10, I get, I, get re, I get repaired once a day. I'm gonna be honest with you, I should go as far as giving you reckless endangerment because this thing could combust at any moment. This thing will not combust at any moment, that is. It, can, it literally can. it was can. bad, it, no, no, no. You know, you know I'm a mechanic, right? No. Another mechanic needs to be here, it does, for me to believe it. Okay, well, how about this? If you really want it, I have everything documented, and if you want to take it to court, you can, but I have all of the, I have every part of this documented. Oh, I take it to court, I take it to court, would I? Would you like to? Yeah, you're gonna charge me $25,000, you are? Yeah, I mean, you can take it to court if you want. Okay, your total here today is gonna to be twenty-seven thousand dollars and six hundred and twenty-five. Or no, twenty-seven thousand six hundred. How much? Yeah, twenty-seven thousand. Twenty-seven thousand dollars. That is. Yes, and uh, technically it should be fifteen points on your record as well. Um, no, no, I definitely want. I want to take a score. I do. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, hold on. Hey, Cornwood, can I get a picture with this guy? No, Cornwood, yeah, take my sure thing. Hey, Cornwood, take He's my picture with this guy. Holy back. shit. It must fucking taking suck pictures what that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sucks oh, a lot. It does. <laughs> it sucks a big time. It does. <laughs> this this must this must this must be horrible for you, man. Holy horrible. shit. Horrible. It's a lot. It does. I'm gonna be bankrupt. I am. I'm asking Conley for mercy. That is. WWRD. What would Wrangler do? Yep. Oh shit. Wrangler probably would have hit him with a couple felonies too. Wrangler would have already raided him. 
Uh -huh. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and frisk you for my safety. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I do not consent to a search ID. Uh oh, he's got something on him, man. A small amount of mercy that is. A little pinch, a pinch of salt that is on the steak that is. Yes, on the cheese that is. On the cheese asking you, I am. Oh, God. I'll give you 20 blocks of cheese, I will. Look, are you, are you trying to bribe me? You're trying to offer me cheese no. and shit? Is that what bribe mean it does? Yeah, so basically you're saying that you'll give me cheese if I'll uh, exercise my, a form of discretion. Not my intention that was, yes? Also because of the bribery, you now have nine months of jail. So. Uh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hey, you're fucking me. You're you're I wasn't trying to bribe you. I was not trying to bribe you. Sir, turn around. Sir, turn around. No, I wasn't trying to... I have to go ahead and check your ear put you, before I put you in the vehicle. No. Wait. I'd I would say I feel bad, but I, I really don't. What are you doing with this? How did you get this flashlight? Bought it at the store. Yeah, me too. That's why I don't feel You bad. bought this flashlight at the store. Hold on, give me a second. Go hey, it. I want to push for a raid on this guy. What? <laughs> he has a he has a flashlight. Old flashlight or new flashlight? Uh, a new one. From who? From Aziz. This guy might have PD gear. Holy oh, shit. I do actually think Kyle we need to raid him. Do not let Kyle talk to him. Dave, take him I back to the station. Oh, Kyle, Kyle. Kyle, Kyle. 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 What? <laughs> Wait, I actually Wait, wrangled sure this guy. I did no, not I mean to wrangle this guy. This is, this is actually the craziest shit that's ever happened in a random traffic stop. Hey, this is one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. I this know. This makes me miss being a cop. <laughs> like, holy shit. I, yeah, this is the first time something like this happened. What I live for. Alrighty, here, give me just yeah, a moment yes. here. Okay. Are you hungry at all? Do you want any food or drink? Yeah, a little bit of food. Can I? Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you cheese? a. I'll give you some cheese fries. Yes, yes, yes. Were flashlights support of the PD equipment charge? I think they're not. Oh, yeah. they are. Criminal possession of government issued equipment. We can realistically only drop the negligent driving and the reckless endangerment. Yeah, I think we're probably going to bench then. Uh, point blank, you're facing a fuck ton of money. Do you, do you want to do bench trial or not? Well, facing a fuck ton of money if not do, be if do bench trial? Uh, like you have no choice basically. It's either plead guilty, pay a fuck ton of money, bench trial, or try to oh, try to bench trial. Yes, yeah, so of course, bench trial that is. Okay, simple enough. Are you, are you sure? Is this what you want to do? Yes, yes. Okay. okay yeah. Don't don't run on me or none of that, okay? No, I won't do that, I wouldn't. There you go. Uh, Your Honor, I know you said 30, 30 after, but uh, the defense is ready to proceed uh, whenever everyone else is. Oh, I want to keep playing the video. Yeah, okay. uh, yes, we are ready. Today, you are standing accused of the following charges. Please enter a plea of guilty or not guilty as I read each all. One count, first degree speeding. How do you plead? Guilty. One count, negligent driving. How do you plead? Guilty. One count bribery. Not guilty. One count reckless endangerment. Not guilty, that is. One count criminal possession of a government issued equipment. Not guilty. The drip act on one count, how do you bleed to that? Guilty. And you are being found in violation of the VDM mandate on 10 counts. How do you plead to those? Not guilty. Uh, our first witness will be, that will be me. All right, Officer Cordwood, when you're ready. Uh, I'll give him narrative as to what happened from my perspective. All right, prosecution, do you have any follow-up questions for Cornwood? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Cornwood, how much cheese were you offered? How much cheese was I offered? I mean, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. As soon as he started offering me cheese, I tuned it out because I said, look, there's no way in hell I would even consider such a heinous act of accepting the bribery of cheese. In return for the cheese, what were the charges that he wanted you to drop? The counts of finding the vehicles unroadworthy. Hello, Officer Cor Cornwood. How, how's it going? I'm doing good. We got a few questions for you. So, Officer Cornwood, you are currently the police liaison, right? Absolutely. Uh, and that would mean that you're probably familiar with your SOPs and how things are done at PD, right? Absolutely. And uh, that would include the importance of uh, documenting evidence at, at a scene. Let me stop you right there. We do not discuss police SOPs in the courtroom. Yeah, Your Honor, I can, I can go ahead and rephrase. Uh, Officer Cornwood, you would say it's probably important to document evidence at a scene of a crime, right? Uh, absolutely. Well, Officer Cornwood, why in this case did you not document or have uh, photographic evidence of the vehicle's car at the time? We do have one more photo. But that uh, wasn't submitted into evidence for this case, right? Uh, let's see, I miss it. I mean, regardless, we have two times off officer testimony, myself and Ruby York that were there. He did consent to the vehicle maintenance check regardless. LSPD will have reasonable grounds to inspect a vehicle if 
a vehicle has found missing ex essential exterior parts, right? Right. This is the windshield. But there's no picture of that windshield missing when you arrested my client, right? Sure, but regardless, he still gave consent to uh, to check the vehicle. Well, are you aware that my client uh, said that he, in fact, did not give consent? Again, again, it's it's your word versus his. Uh, well, it's officer testimony times two. Okay, so just going back to my main question, you you, you don't have a, a photo of this missing windshield when you arrested my client, right? Uh, I do. You have a photo from the time that you arrested him? From before I arrested him, actually. You worked on this vehicle, right? Uh, after and after you worked on the... Okay, but we... Again, you don't have a photo of the windshield at the time that you arrested my client. Uh, there's nothing in evidence that suggests a photo, yes. Okay. However, however, I do have a photo. Okay. At this point in time, right, you've stopped him for the first degree speeding, right? Yes. Uh, the, the negligent driving. Yes. And then the, the drip act. Uh, yes, but not until after the traffic stop. Okay. And, and these are generally fine, or these are generally charges that just include like a citation and then, you know, person's free to go. They're, they're not under arrest at this point, right? No, he was not under arrest. Basically, I, I put him under arrest after the bribery and then the reckless endangerment. Okay, and uh, let, let's talk about the bribery. So uh, you mentioned that my client bribed you with cheese, right? Uh, yes. And that's what eventually gave you probable cause to go ahead and search his possessions? Not just that, but uh, at the point in which we would call it reckless endangerment also would have been putting him under arrest. I hadn't arrested him just yet, but I did make him well aware that at the time, whenever I checked, you could make a strong argument for this being reckless endangerment to begin with. You, you had probable cause to make an arrest at this point, yes. right? That's that's what you testified to. So you you searched my client's possessions. Right, after he was arrested, yes. Although you allege that my client bribed you with cheese, there was actually no cheese in his possession, right? Sure. Okay, uh, yeah, no further questions at this time, Your Honor. So, Ruby, did uh did Mr. Malum here give us consent to be able to... Run uh, diagnostics. Run on diagnostics the on the vehicle. He gave you permission. Okay. Did we have any problems with uh, Mr. Malum complying with what we were doing, doing our routine police work prior to being told that he was being charged with the uh, drip act and the unroad, unroadworthy vehicle charge. No. Has it been documented that uh, Aziz Sultan has been uh, attacked and robbed in the past on multiple occasions? Uh, objection, Your Honor. Relevance and facts not in evidence. The flashlight that was found to be on him is uh, was issued to Aziz Sultan. Your Honor, what what does some prior case that I guess lacks uh, foundation too? I... You're going to be overruled on your relevance and lacks foundation. It is very much relevant given that it is Senior Officer Sultan's flashlight that was in your client's possession. However, I will sustain on facts not in evidence. There are no references made to any reports of thefts involving Senior Officer Sultan or his his equipment. Can we question Emo Malum? If he chooses to testify on his side, but you first have to arrest. Um, and at any point, did you give officers consent to inspect your vehicle? Never gave consent, I did. Okay. And Objection leading. Point, uh, be sustained. Did the officers ask anything of you when you were, uh, when you were detained? Not my knowledge, that is. No. Never asked, they did. Objection okay. leading. Uh, your Honor. That I'm one, I'm going to allow okay. as a clarifying question to his last one. Ten four. Okay. But so, it is very much still threading a very fine line. Was was anything asked by officers at all prior to them looking at your vehicle? No, they didn't really ask for permission at all, they did. Uh when when you got arrested. Ignore that, that was upstairs. Oh, oh um, shit. They they, they they gotta be careful with how hard they're smacking. Scared it I did. Uh, just a simple question. Did you, do you have, did you, at the time of your arrest, did you have any cheese in your possession? No cheese I had. Objection, relevance? I will overrule it as questions about cheese were asked to both Thornwood and Ruby. Oh, However, oh. I will also point out you already asked two witnesses about this and they gave the same answer. How many times would you like to beat a dead horse? <clears throat> uh, Mr. Malum, can you state to us where you got the flashlight from? The store across the across this building, that is. Objection, Your Honor. Scope. This was never brought up on direct examination. That's, that will be sustained. She's right, actually. Do you have cheese? No, I have no cheese. I do. You don't have cheese at home or anywhere else outside of your persons? No. Objection, Your Honor. Asked and answered. It was a clarifying question. I'll allow it. That's overruled. What do you think of cheese? 
objection relevance? It is relevant because, uh, I mean, obviously the value of cheese is important for the sake of this bribery. I'll allow it. It's overruled. Well, think of cheese I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not very fond of cheese I am. Really? Are you okay, sir? Yes, that's fine I am. Fine I am. Yes, yes, yes. But if you're never feeling better, I am. Did you not say to me while offering me cheese that uh, cheese is the highest honor of the Rat Kingdom? No, no. Never said that I did. Mr. Malum, whenever I offered you food and drink in the sales, what did you ask for specifically? Anything that would fill my tummy up, that is. Did you not say you prefer cheese? No, that's what handed me, though, you did. You handed me cheese, you did. And what did you say when I handed you cheese fries and a delicious cheese shake? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. <laughs> okay, this is tricky. I will sustain the objection. <laughs> However, unfortunately for you, I do want to hear the answer. So I am allowing the question. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went Ugh. that's that's the sound made i did really okay then i guess i'll be eating these cheese fries myself i ain't even hungry mm. oh look at the they cheese they smell good they mm. smell so good oh look at the cheese it's dripping Damn. it's hot cheese. oh my god oh god you said, Malum, are you sure you're okay <laughs> Okay. No, no, fine I am. Cool. Completely fine I am. Mm. Never been better I have, yes? First, the criminal possession of government-issued equipment. The mere possession of it is all that is required to find you guilty of this. You will be found guilty of criminal possession of government-issued equipment. Reckless endangerment. I could very easily find you guilty of given the condition of your vehicle however i am going to give you a modicum of leeway here and say that because your vehicle was not documented okay. to be smoking losing parts or in any way more danger to people on the road than any other vehicle i am going to find you not guilty of reckless endangerment okay when it comes to bribery, I am going to be finding you guilty. Mm. However, while I find you guilty, I am waiving the time and fine associated with this charge. Now we get into the very, very tricky one, the VDM mandate. Section two of the VDM mandate states that operators of government vehicles, vehicles owned by government businesses and vehicles used for state the jobs are responsible for keeping their vehicles in a roadworthy condition. This includes maintaining internal mechanical components and ensuring that external aspects such as the vehicle's body are properly maintained. Now in testimony today, we heard testified by two officers, one of whom is the assistant chief of police, that consent was given to run diagnostics on the vehicle. It was also testified to that there is a photograph of the vehicle missing a windshield, though it was excluded from evidence. While excluding it from evidence does mean that there is no proof of anything being missed, I will turn to, again, the fact that two separate officers gave a very detailed testimony to the compliance and permission given by Mr. Mallon. So I am going to find that the results of the diagnostics are valid for the court. However, this is going to become the tricky part that you need to pay attention to. Mr. Malum, you have 48 hours to bring your vehicle within compliance of the VDM mandate. Once you do bring it into compliance within those 48 hours, you are to bring it to MRPD and have an on-duty officer inspect your vehicle and certify on your MDT profile that it has been brought into compliance. If this is not done, you will be charged the full fine for all 10 parts. Is that understood? Yes, yes, understood it is. Okay, so 48 hours, bring that grime truck into compliance. Okay, good. Otherwise, good RP charged, punishment. Means to say that you are found guilty of it. However, any repercussions are suspended until such time as you follow this court order, which additionally, should you not bring it into compliance within 48 hours, not only will you be fined for the 10 parts under the VDM mandate, you will also be charged with disobeying a court order, which is another felony. Understood? Understood it is. All right. That is the finding of this court and this case is adjourned.